Um, it's a really bad day out there today, so I'm not totally sure that the connection for the internet is going to be great. Either way, I'm going to go ahead with this and I'll download it and then post it to the page and maybe up to YouTube and you should be able to watch it there even if the feed isn't great for, for the actual live event. So anyone who is able to join me, great. Um, if not, shluck, you will be able to watch the playback. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the camera around and we'll get another go at this. Okay, so we're going to do the same subject that we were going to do the other day. So we've got, um, just get my stool sorted. We got a rocky seascape here. Um, again, I've got the same colors that we were using. So we've got cerulean blue, indigo, ultramarine blue um, and sap green and that's a kind of slightly warm green um, in case I need to add more warms to that I've got a little lemon yellow over here um, my rock colours my browns are at the moment I've got um, raw umber and burnt sienna now maybe on stage two we might add in some more highlight colors but for the moment anyway that's what we're using i have two pools of white one we're going to try and keep as clean as possible and the other one then is for mixing okay so we're going to get started here i've penciled in roughly the um outline because i just kind of want to speed things up here um i'm just going to use some mostly ultramarine to mark in the shapes so we've got the horizon roughly there Okay. Um, sit. Um, that's just the background. See, there'll be stuff going on in that. Um, I'm using a good bit of medium here into the ultramarine to get it nice and loose so we can draw with it. Um, we have a dark uh, space here um, in the roll of the wave that's there. There's another few dark spots in it here and there. Um, we've also got the roll coming over this way and here. And then the shadow parts underneath the foam, which are kind of rough in there. This is highlights. Um, a little bit more, let me see, yeah, over here. I'm using two reference photos just to show you. Okay, so the wave part is mostly coming from this one. And then the rocks and just general outline is coming from the top one. So we kind of got a combination of two. Um, that top photograph there is Garris, um, sorry, Garrett, uh, Garrett's Town Beach in West Cork. I was down there this summer. So um, now I'm going to add in a tiny bit of um, brown sienna just to kind of brown that out for the rocks a little bit. And I'm just gonna mark in roughly my brush right so that's kind of rock going in a kind of rough line there I kind of want to get um, a kind of leading line going back to draw you over to this which is going to be our center of interest so the water that I'm going to put in here should do that um, we've got more rock here it's getting a little bit dry there we go um, more rock here um, here coming in this there's a pool here which I'm going to put in in a moment more rocks there just darken up with a bit of ultramarine blue here just to this is in deep shadow here okay and there's a deep shadow kind of there 
great and then there's a kind of a shelf of rock here which is kind of highlighted and that's all across the front so that's kind of roughly in there okay now the next thing is that kind of leading water which I was talking about so I'm just going to take a little bit of ultramarine and some white kind of because there's a little bit of brown still on my brush we're kind of getting a gray color but that's fine that's it'll do me perfectly um any standing water will essentially be reflecting the sky anyway so i've kind of got water coming in here it's kind of going back through the rocks there. there's a little pool over here and then it's kind of coming back through here now we'll be putting a lot of highlights on this but there we go and we've got shadow foam here which i'm just going to roughly block in Oops. i hope my pad i'm working on a oil pad paper here i'm hoping it stays put today because it went all over the place the other day okay so um, there is some shadow foam under here. I've got highlights going over it. I'll sort that out in a minute. Okay, that's kind of roughly got the, the basic elements in. Um, I'm going to put just an indication of where the white highlights are this isn't going to be very white because my brush is a bit dirty but it'll just kind of block out the bits of canvas that we need we've got some highlight there highlight here coming around the back of the way it was the wave comes over the sun is going to hit it don't forget light is coming from this direction a little bit on the top and there's also a little here okay and all across the front here this i'll whiten it out and lighten it later but you've got a lot of sun coming along here okay so i'm going up to the sky now in both photographs, actually in the top photograph really, because there's no sky in the first one, it's, um, it's just, it's a grey, kind of pale blue colour. So that's a little bit boring, so I'm just going to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm going to take some cerulean blue and add quite a bit of white to it. And there we go. And that's going to... Just pop that in up there okay maybe a small bit there yeah that'll do okay clean my brush a good bit a lot of paint on it now there we go i'm using a low odor medium here a zest it or gamma sol or whatever you have um right now there is clouds, there's a lot of white cloud there, but there's also um, shadow under that cloud. So good shadow colour is ultra blue, white, and so I think I'll put in a bit of that red, that raw, uh, burnt sienna, should I, say? I was going to say red sienna, <laughs> burnt sienna. And that's kind of giving me, because this, this, oh, this is brown, it's kind of a warm brown, so there's kind of reddish colours in it. So it's kind of giving me a purplish grey, almost purplish blue grey. Um, so that's going to be our shadow colour for the sky. Um, yeah. Okay. More or less. I'll add in a few more bits here and there. Okay, I'm going to take a clean brush. Um, I'm not touching that white just yet because 
we can use that to go back over. So now I'm going to add in the highlights in the clouds. Now, as we move along, some of that shadow color is going to come into this white, but that's fine. Um, we might even introduce a bit more here and there. Um, I'm going to stay away from that blue just for a minute because I don't want to pull it down here. white clouds in there. The thing to remember with clouds is they're very amorphous if you like. They move a lot. So try and keep them as kind of indistinct and soft as you can. Um, who's popped in? Oh Gwenda's here. Hi Gwenda. And uh, oh Dermot. Hello Dermot. Okay so We've got there we go. So I'm just kind of highlighting different areas with some white. It'll mix in with the shadow color and that'll kind of create a cloud shape. We may go back into those and redefine them a little bit here and there. I'm finding up here, I think I need something. It's a big splodge of white up there so yeah that's better go back to the white paint finger love the fingers fingers are great for smudging things around now really i'm only getting an indication at this stage of kind of what i want to do i, I will be going back into this we'll redefine some areas um so there's no need to get too fussy with it just yet. Um, I'm going to cover up that blue there. I'm actually going to use my finger to move that around a bit. There we go. There we are. Now, we'll be going back into that sky later, so it's okay for now. Right, so the next thing is to do where the clouds meet the horizon meet the um the water so we're going to take a bit small bit of indigo on ultramarine okay i'm going to keep it nice and wet with some medium because i want this to move and i'm just going to draw in the horizon i am hopeless at keeping straight lines don't ever anyone let to tell you that an artist is really good at drawing straight lines because they are not. Okay. Um, that's fine because what I actually want to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that kind of ultramarine and white shadowy colour and I'm going to run along the top of that horizon line there mix the two a little bit and go back over there i want to kind of smudge the two so i kind of get a kind of misty horizon if you're with me we'll be going back into that anyway okay just picking up all sorts of paint another bit of white there just yeah that'll do for now it'll I'll be playing around with it later okay so as you're moving forward um you will notice with the sea uh, we're obviously not using these colors but you can see there is lights and darks and troughs where the water's kind of moving um, as it kind of, how to describe the water, as it, uh, the roll of, of waves coming in start to march towards the beach, shall we say, um, you get kind of deeper areas and lighter areas because the water's undulating, so to speak. So you're getting troughs of dark and kind of sections of light as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of light in here. With the, okay, just kind of make more interest. There we go. And then 
I'm going back into my dark color, which has white on my brush. So it's obviously not completely dark. I'm popping that in there. Okay. I've got to remember this is where my roll of my wave starts. So um, I've got to remember that. Though if I went over it, it's not the end of the world, to be honest. I can go back in and fix it. Um, try not to have completely straight lines because that's not um, natural, if you see what I mean. Um, water doesn't come in, waves don't come in in a, in a completely straight line. They actually tend to come at a slight angle, to be honest. Um, I'm going to darken this side. Shall we see? Yep, yeah, I'm going to darken that side there behind this wave here as it's coming in. Um, it'll give me some good contrast anyway when I'm getting to that point. Put a bit of white in there. A bit more white actually. Yeah. I'll probably go back into that to be honest. Um, let me see now. Okay. Um, a bit of the Actually, yeah, I might throw in another little bit of ultramarine. Ultramarine blue is a kind of a warmer blue. It has reddish tones in it compared to the indigo, which doesn't. Uh, I might need more in that, actually. There we go. So it'll kind of it'll kind of be warmer, so to speak, a slightly warmer blue. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a bit more with that in a little while, but for now, that's fine. Um, now we're coming forward now to the wave of interest. So this is our, um, this is our center of interest now at this stage. So what I think we'll do is we'll take some of our green. Remember we were going to use a nice warm green. So I've got sap green here. Um, most of my colors are Windsor and Newton, by the way. Um, I do have a few Michael Harding thrown in there as well, but whatever I can get to be honest at this stage of the game because trying to get um, deliveries of art materials is not easy uh, people, things keep selling out understandably and I suppose with Brexit and everything else I'm sure their supply lines in some things are difficult right so I'm putting in the darker parts of this wave now can you see here um there's quite a dark shadow area here as the 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 wave goes into a deep curl so we've got a deep curl and that is actually i suppose the darkest part pretty much of the water so i've mixed ultramarine and sap green i wanted to take the green down into a darker shade so that's gone in there um and there's one or two just dark parts here and there in it to the side as well oh, my reference photo is going to fall off now right um we've got a little bit over here as well okay that's fine for now um i'm going to put the shadow foam in next now the shadow foam is mostly ultramarine with white Uh, I'll whiten that out another bit. There we go. And I think, yeah, no, I'll leave it like that for now. We might change it later, but for now that'll do. So you've got the shadow parts. Uh, the sun is coming this way. So in the turn of the deep part of the wave there, that's in shadow. So we're going to shadow that in there. Blues are good for uh, shadow foam or purple. Um, if you're very pale purple in some cases. Um, depends on the light. Uh, go sit on the beach. Have a look at the, have a look in the sunshine. <laughs> have a look at the water. Um, it's not white. There's white parts in it. But um, 
it's not completely white. So I'm doing all the shadow now, which is a good part of this because we'll be laying white in over it. But that's so that's OK. Um, this part in here is also shadow, but because it's meeting the green, it will pick up parts of that. But that's OK. I kind of don't mind that kind of a lens to it. I'll be playing around with that now in a minute. So putting more dark and light into it. But you can kind of get the idea there. Now I want to put that roll in. So I'll show you the reference now. Okay, so you've got the roll. You can see it here. Because the light is hitting it, it's much brighter than this part. Okay, you can see this light hitting it. It's kind of thinner. Because it's rolling over, the water has become thinner, which means it it'll reflect the in this case the sun. Okay, so that means it's going to be warmer and lighter. Okay, so just clean my brush. So I'm gonna excuse me, take my um sap cream. And I think I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of yellow to it, not too much little bit of yellow just to warm it up a tiny bit okay and a small bit of white yeah I may darken that down but for now that will do yeah okay and I'm just gonna pop in this now, don't be too concerned if it looks a bit crazy color at the moment we can play with that later um, Another little bit of it here, not as much. Yeah, okay. And then, I'm going to clean my brush, if I can. I could get a completely new brush, but I kind of like this one. This is the one of the oldest brushes I have in my thing. And can you see, <laughs> it was a round brush at one point. But I've used this and sawed at it so many times that it's kind of become pointy. Very useful. Old brushes are great. Um, they they turn into tools that you didn't know you needed. Okay. Now, what's happening here is I've picked up some of the green, so it's kind of a little bit yellowy, but that's okay. We we'll can sort that out later. So I'm just popping in the wave highlight. I'm going to be playing with this with a knife in a minute so um, I'm not too worried about it being a bit yellow just now. Um, I'm going to take some of the blue has been picked up too that's fine as well. Um, there we go. Okay so that's your light. I'm going to leave all of that I think to do with a knife yeah for now um, okay and I've got another bit of shadowy wave here coming over the rock that's I'm gonna find that rock now in a minute um, but there is a bit of water coming over that rock there as well. Okay. So now we've got the foreground. Um, I need a clean brush. I think. Try this one. Um, we've got the foreground um, foam there now. I'm just going to use as much of this white here as I can. I'm going to lay that in over there. Um, whatever's in the front here is being hit by fairly bright sunshine. So it's quite white. So I'm just going to pop that in there for now. Uh, we can redefine some areas of it at a later stage. Kind of okay now for the minute and 
I think we'll go move down to the rocks at this point. So I've got, let me think now, I've got some burnt sienna. I keep going to call it red sienna today. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, burnt sienna. Um, what's a pool of a mix of indigo and um, ultramarine? That's kind of what was here. So I'm just using that. Okay, I'm going to just loosen it very slightly with um, some medium because I kind of want to keep this kind of loose as well. And I'm just kind of following the lines of rocks here. And I'm going to darken this. Actually, it might grey it out just ever so slightly with some white. There we go. Um, just not to get too dark too early, if you know what I mean. I can add darks and highlights in later. There we go. Yeah. I'm not getting too fussy with this too early because really this is a background to lay in some other lighter um, watercolours over it. Okay. Now there is one very deep shadow here which I kind of do want to get in. I kind of want to define that a little bit. Okay. And there's another one, let me think, just here behind it. Yeah. And there as well. Okay. So we've kind of got our rough shapes in here. There's a shadow there, roughly speaking some highlights on it as well um, what I'll do is I'm just just going to slightly define where I want the highlights to be so we've got highlight here on that rock don't forget the Sun is from this direction so it's going to hit rocks on this side I'm using um, burnt sienna and white by the way for highlights at the moment rock highlights we might change that slightly later. Um, this is pretty much all highlighted as a big swathe of light coming across that rock. At least I'm deciding there is. Um, there's another highlight here. There we go. And that's quite dark back there, so I'm just going to leave that for the moment. Um, we've also got one or two more kind of highlights here, here and here and here. And just here as the sun hits it. Sort all them out better later. Okay, there's also quite a bit of light hitting this here. I've taped this um, pad to a board today because last Saturday when we tried to do this everything kept falling and that didn't work at all. Okay so kind of got the rough shapes in now at this stage. I think at this point an idea to do a little bit of knife work. So small knife, there we go, small knife. Um, I'm going, actually before I do that, just give me two seconds, I'm going to put a little bit of dark there in behind this wave. Just darken this a little bit. Uh, let me see across this way. Indigo and ultramarine mostly. Now I'll explain why I'm doing this in a minute. Okay. 
just blend that a little bit. Uh, I know I picked up a bit of green there, but don't worry about that. Okay, and just okay. Now the reason I did that. I'll have to go back in with white there in a minute, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Um, the reason I did that is because it provides a nice contrast with this here. And I want to just, I'm going to take a bit of um, sap green, nearly completely sap green, I think. Um, I'm just looking at this. Yeah. Um, I'll add a small bit of white to it. For now, I'm just going to pull that. See, the water is going in this direction, so I'm going in this direction. Okay. I think I'll darken it with a little bit more green just to give it some definition. go we'll be going back into that now in a minute with some white um and trying to look at this here it's much lighter on this side because you're getting more light so at the moment i'll just pop this in i probably will lighten it up as we go along but for now a little bit like that and Make sure much easier to clean a knife than a brush. <laughs> um, okay, I need to let me look at this now for a second. Okay, I'm gonna take some white, and what I want to do is kind of looking at hang on. First of all, I'm gonna pull up that shadow, pull up the shadow first. Okay, so shadow's going up first, then clean the knife and the white is going in over it. Every time you touch paint, you're going to pick up whatever colour was there. So keep cleaning. Only way to keep your white clean is to keep cleaning. If you see. Sometimes even it's so easy to forget. Pull up the shadow to meet the white. So we're kind of half mixing them and then we'll put a little bit more light over it. There we go. We may go back in and redefine all of this at a later stage. Um, I'm just looking at my reference. I'm kind of semi following my reference. You see, there's a big light, big um, highlight here where the light is hitting it. Now, I don't have to get all of that in, but it kind of would be nice to put some of it in. There we go. Go back in with another knife now shortly. Okay. Um, I want to take some of the shadow colour and pull it up just to keep things kind of interesting. Um I'm gonna bring a little bit of that highlight down there. Clean it. So you're kind of, it's kind of moulding, um, I suppose. I've never done sculpture, but it um, kind of reminds me of that when you're moulding paint with a knife. Uh, I'm going to put more highlight in here. 
and if it goes wrong it really doesn't matter because you just wipe go back in with some shadow color and it's probably a little bit dark hang on put some white there there we go um so you can go back in and put back in another shadow go back in and put another light um as long as you don't fiddle with the paint too much on the surface um it won't it won't get gray or mixy and muddy so i'm kind of looking i'm looking at this to see what i want to do is put in some foam there and that color that's there behind or that light color is I'll get a better contrast I think if I put a dark in behind it now I can play around with that a little bit but essentially yeah I think we'll do that I'll probably go back in and play around with that water a small bit. Maybe even with the knife actually. That might be that might be the thing. that uh, foam shadow colour that I was using there. Now, the danger with this is the whole pad's going to go flying. Well, let's see how we go. Okay. Yep, yeah, so that's a bit more interest going on there. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of white here. Going up. We'll be going back in and doing more of this, but kind of I've kind of gone a little bit overboard there. That's okay. We can pull that down. There we are. It's out. And I'll just knife in a bit there. Okay, so you can kind of see how everything's beginning to come together there. I'm going to take a, um, a little bit of white on the edge of the knife. I kind of wanted to define the edge of this wave a little. So I'm coming in, kind of drawing, so to speak, the edge of the wave. With the foam so you're just it's where the sun is catching the edge um, of the foam pull that up okay That's not too bad. Um, okay, I think we will go back into. Let me see. Okay. So I have the dark areas here. Okay, so we've got some shadow there. Here. I'm kind of this really is where it's all going on so if I'm going to spend any time on um, kind of getting things to a point of semi detail it's going to be over here I'm just looking at my reference a little 
So I'm using some dark colours. I'm going to pull a little bit of blue into that, I think. Yeah. Um, a little bit more ultramarine blue. I know it's got green in it too, but that's all, that's all right. Um, get rid of that brush for now. And I'm just looking at, you see, this is what I'm working on here, this part. So you can see all of the, the kind of darks and lights and highlights. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of blue. I'm just seeing a lot of green. Oh, there's a brush on the floor. Never mind. Yeah, studio never stays clean. There's always something falling on the floor or somewhere else. Okay, so I'm taking some ultramarine blue and white here. So it's quite it's quite dark and I just want to draw in, literally draw in with the brush a little bit of definition here. under this shadow okay yeah now I'm going to clean the brush take some white I'm going to work on the edge of this white here now because that one's nearly messy um okay so within the Within all of this shadow here, there are some highlights. Okay, can you see them? Just here and there. So you've got dark foam shadow. You've got highlight shadow. Um, we've got highlight. I'm just looking here. We've got the highlight shadow here, or highlight foam, shall I say, here. Clean the brush again. Trying to keep my hand steady now on this. Then we've got shadow under that foam. Okay, I'm going to take the knife now to put in the white highlight over it. It's moved the green a little, but that's okay. I'll just go back in and redefine it. This is quite bright here because it's the sun hitting it. Now what I do need to do is where that white foam, I want it to hit nice dark shadow. So I'm going to put a nice, literally a nice dark shadow behind it. Blend it slightly there. So that's kind of giving your wave or the foam is rolling, rolling. And as it rolls, there's a, there's, it's creating a shadow along the edge of the foam. I don't know if you can see that there. Darken that slightly that way. Okay. So it's a kind of series of contrasts within the foam colour. Um, I'm just looking at this here. There's a kind of a nice shadow here, which I'd kind of like to get. There it is. I've just noticed now I need to put my rock in or it's going to completely disappear. So I'm going to take some burnt sienna and just suggest it there. Okay. I probably want a bit of dark underneath it on this side. There we go. 
I'll be pulling foam up over it, so that's okay. Yeah. And then, there's a lot going on over here. Um, it's kind of all sorts of foamy bits. So I want to suggest that like a little bit of shadow in it as well. But it's mostly a lot of white because the, the foam is boiling up over here quite a bit and it's coming over the rock. Well, I want it to come over the rock. It's actually, I'm trying to combine kind of two two photographs here, so. Okay, so I'll probably go back into that in a little while, but essentially, few highlights, few highlights. Okay, I to contrast with the highlights, I'm going to need some shadow color as well. And I think, I think a bit, just looking at it here, a bit of ultramarine, bit of um, sap green might work quite well. So I'm going to This is really just a background for um, the foam I want to put in over it. So I need to, you can't just stick white um, colour in on top of nothing. It has to go on something. So I'm going to pop that in there. So we've got a mixture of sap green and ultra blue. Just mix it there a little bit. I'm going to leave that just for a minute because what I'm going to do is put some foam over it shortly. But I want to get that rock in first before I do it. Um, because the foam is going to come over the rock. So for this, I'm going to go with the knife. Forget the brush for now. Rocks are hard. Um, they've got hard shapes. So that means we need to get in hard shapes. So I'm taking some indigo and some burnt sienna because I kind of want a dark-ish colour. We're using the top photograph now. You see it there? So we've got a kind of wiggling rock. Um, I'm saying wiggling because it's kind of undulating backwards. Okay, so I'm going to kind of define that a little bit. Keeping the shadows no paint on this knife. Keeping the shadows on this side. Okay. So. Rock, rock. You see, it's a rock. So it's not a round thing. It's a hard edged thing. So I'm going to just in there. Now we may have to go back in and redefine these later but this will do for now. Um, I'm looking at this. And now I've decided that the paper is too dry so I'm going to just I'm just taking some medium and putting it on there so I can get the paint to move a bit better. So we've still got um, indigo and raw, uh, sorry, burnt sienna, excuse me. It's giving me a kind of a warmish dark grey colour, I suppose you'd call it. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. Um, I'm avoiding that bit up there because I actually think I want the rock come down at an angle so I'm going to pull foam behind that now in a minute. I'll show you. Just wipe the knife completely. Take some white. So I'm going to pop 
foam in here. You see it there. And that kind of defines the edge of the um, rock. That's it. I've got a tiny bit too much in there. Hang on, we'll just lift that out a small bit. That's it. There we go. Right, there's a good bit of foam going on here. I pulled a bit of rock into that, but that's okay. okay I'll probably go back in and put some more darks in there in a minute, but for now that's okay. Um, and then this here in front of this rock is actually water. So actually what I think I'll do is I'm going to pick up a little bit of watercolour, which in this case is, it's a kind of a blue grey, which is ultramarine blue. Um, tiny bit of um, burnt sienna and some white. It's kind of giving me a blue grey colour because I want to reflect the sky in the water. So blue grey colour here. This is my water going in. It's kind of got puddles everywhere. Um, the foam going in on top of it now in a minute. This is my water colour. Okay, get it back here. Come back. It takes a bit more ultramarine blue here, I think. I've just noticed I'm picking up green. I'm going to take that green out of there. As I don't really want it in this. Okay. Right, so ultramarine blue. And white. Take a bit of white there. Okay. So I've kind of got a bluish grey colour. It doesn't matter that it's a little bit dark because I will be putting white over it anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull that down there. I'm going down in a straight line because I want this pool of water here to be quite reflective. So, back here as well, I think. So, this is kind of, I don't know what I've got on my hand. Brown. Hang on, eat a wipe. I've never actually got out of a painting session without having paint completely all over my hands. Right, I'm going to just pull that down there now for now. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone down with this water. So because I want it to be reflective, I'm going to take some white. There's clouds in the sky, so we're going to have some cloud reflection here as well. So I'm going to pull that down. Um, let me see here, maybe, I think. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I need a brush, flat brush. Oh, actually, this one will do the job. Okay, just a clean brush, and you just pull it across. Now I've got paint on me, and you can see that's going to give you your kind of reflections. Okay. So I may play around with them a bit more later, but for now, that's at least it'll give you the idea of how it works. Completely covered in paint now. There we go. 
Okay, so I'm looking at this now. Um, trying to see. I think we'll put in some. What time are we? Okay, our hour is nearly up, I think. So I'm not going to do too much more with this. Um, our foam would go in here. Okay, and this, I think this is a good point actually to let it dry because I can come back into it then on the next session and we can kind of redefine all those areas. Some we're going to, I need to, for instance, get a pointy section on that rock there, for instance, and here. You see what I mean? Um, I want to put some foam in there as well, but I'd kind of like for that to dry a small bit, really, before I put more in. But I want to define some of the edges of these rocks a little. And then we'll be putting foam back over them. Okay. So... I need some foam coming in here. I want the water to move. The whole idea of this um, this water is that I want it to um, to kind of create this line um, which is leading you and then the foam should lead you back over to your center of interest at least i'm hoping that's what we'll get so so i need to just redefine some rock edges here okay it really only needs to be a suggestion because your eye will fill in everything else um i don't need to do every part of the rock really if I just define the shadows and the highlights um, the eye will fill in the rest of it for me I'm going to put some highlights in that I'll just throw one highlight in so you can kind of see how it works very quickly so I'm taking the um, burnt sienna a little bit of white um, I'm going to take a tiny bit of yellow just because I have another color in my box that I could use but I didn't put it out in the palette today so but we, we can go with that for the second stage but you can see there's your highlighted kind of rock where the sun is hitting it okay now I'm going to stop there I think um yeah um next session I'm going to be doing all of this foam work that's going to come up over the rocks redefine sections of the rock um this whole front um shelf of rock um we'll be doing something with I haven't quite decided what yet and we also need to put in a few um, shadows because you can see there is some shadows from the rock areas in the water as well so we can pull those in too uh, but we can do all of that um, at the next at the next session but I hope you enjoyed and I do hope the internet behaved itself a little better today um, I will download this um, download it post it to the page um, someone saying it's frozen well look i'll download it now at this stage and um you should be able to watch it on playback and i'll also upload it to youtube and the link to um my youtube is in the bio there it's in the link tree in the bio so you should be able to see it in one of those places okay listen thanks very much guys um i hope you enjoyed that and i hope it provided some information for you there okay see you again bye